Today we're going to talk about linguistic diversity and English for speakers of other languages. In Ohio schools alone, in 2011, there were over 39,800 students with limited English proficiency. This was a 38% increase from 2005, but it was a 199% increase from 2000. The top 10 languages that were spoken in these schools were Spanish, Somali, Arabic, Pennsylvania Dutch, which was in Holmes County mostly due to the Amish community, Chinese, Japanese, Vietnamese, French, Russian, and Twi, which is a language spoken in the West African countries. In the Columbus area alone, there are an estimated 25,000 to 40,000 Somali refugees. In the 2015 census, it was determined by the Department of Education that 9.5% of students in public schools are English language learners. This accounts for over 4.8 million students in the United States. Language is how we communicate with others. It's tied to our identity and it helps us work in groups. This way we can accomplish more together. So it's, an import, it's important that we're able to communicate with each other. What is an English language learner? English language learners are people that have another language as their first language, but speak English maybe as well, or are in the process of learning English. It's a very diverse group. English language learners may be new to the United States. They may be born in the United States, but they live in a home where family members speak another language. Last year in my class, I had a student whose parents were born in the U.S., but the grandma, who was the major caregiver for the family, only spoke Korean. This may be the person's dominant language, but they haven't developed actually yet the written or speaking skills that allow them to function at a grade level. So what we want to do is teach students at a comprehensible input. That means students can acquire the language by hearing and understanding words and vocabulary that are above their, their, their current level. Some different strategies for instruction include make your lessons visual, have a print-rich classroom, use graphs, maps, photographs. You can include drawings, charts, all of these things will help introduce new concepts and vocabulary. Other strategies can include avoiding expressions or sayings that are only common in the United States, slang, or idioms like it's raining cats and dogs. Instruct in a variety of ways. Talk to the students. Have them write. You write on the board. Use videos. Make demonstrations. Do think alouds where you're saying, hmm, I wonder why they kept saying that the boy's shirt was red. I wonder if that'll come into play later. Do think pair shares where the students will brainstorm together what they think is happening or making predictions. Try to use metaphors and imagery for cues. What we want to do is bridge students' prior knowledge and then bridge the home language. Contextualization can include demonstrations of concepts, using manipulatives within the classroom, repeating the informa information. This will help students if they hear it in a multiple of ways. We want to use media. We want to use simple step-by-step -step instructions. And if you think about it, all of those strategies will help English language learners as well as our traditional learners strategies. When modeling the language, we want to speak slowly and clearly. Often we have a tendency when we're excited or on a roll that we speed up, and it's difficult to understand when this isn't your native language. 
we want to provide samples of work to help with understanding. If you're asking for a certain output, maybe it's having a cover page and then the story, show an example of that so it can help the student understand. Show the relationships between concepts. If you've been talking about the water cycle and that has something else to do with the rock cycle, please include those and, and join those concepts together. Compare and contrast, making sure that this is an important skill for them to learn as well. Assign projects that they can work on in class. Have flexible grouping, making sure that you're not always grouping stu students of the same language together, but they can all grow from this cultural diversity. The reason to not assign projects that go home is it might be that they don't have any help at home. Provide opportunities for questions and avoid asking, do you understand? Because the answer to that is yes, even though it may not be what you understand. Ask instead for them to demonstrate how they understand. Celebrate the student's culture. Ask them to bring in books from their country. Ask them to share their celebrations so that others can grow in their acceptance and knowledge about their culture as well. Learn to say hello and goodbye to start and end their day in their language, as well as asking and making sure that you're doing the correct pronunciation of their name. Reading and writing can be quite difficult. English language learners may have trouble in writing and self-editing. Identify areas that need correction instead of making the corrections for them. I had a student from France last year that instead of using a capital I for the word I, he would always use a lowercase i. So I would circle his paragraph and say, find the errors, because he was so used to je not being capitalized. It was not a natural thing for him in fifth grade. Reading comprehension can improve with graphic organizers or the use of post-it notes. The idea of keeping up with the story and making little notes within the book can be very helpful. Some programs that can help with reading are Reading A to Z with an ESL program. There's Starfall, which has a great um, graphic organizer through it. There's Snap and Read and Duolingo. Teaching English language can be a challenge, but being prepared with strategies can help ensure a quality of education for these students. Engaging lessons will help provide opportunities for them to succeed and become lifelong learners, and that's what we want. Strategies used within the classroom setting will benefit English language learners as well as non-English language learners. So all of these things will be beneficial to all students. The United States is a diverse country, and it's our responsibility to help these learners feel understood and welcome. As we can see from the beginning slide, met their, the English language learners are on an increase, and so we as teachers need to know how to reach them.